as I like to call him Super Coup. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to play Red U7 Goku Supreme Supreme Warrior. Red U7 Goku, or as I like to call him, Super Coup. If this is your guys' first time here and you want to see this kind of content, consider smushing that subscription button, but let's get into it and go through this playthrough. So um, I have an ideal hand set out here. I'm just going to show you guys, basically, um, for starting six, this is kind of like the best thing you could see is something like this. You really want to see your unison in your opening hand. And if you guys want to see a deck profile, I'll have a video of that up too. You can check it out. I'll link it here in the comment sec. If you guys want to see the deck profile, I will link it in the description um but basically like opening into uh gohan is the best and as with all decks this deck you really want to be going first if you're going first it's really going to set you up for a big advantage especially in the mirror match going first is super super huge so this is kind of like the opening hand that i would like to see if you see a one drop gohan and a skillless and a challenger that's awesome if you see your unison you really want to keep those things secret rares and super combos are also things you want to keep in your opening hand and depending on the matchup maybe some defensive options if you see a violent raise or a um, after image or something like that you may want to keep those so i'm going to set my life out here and um i'm going to be on the turn so i'm going to go first and if you have two of these in your hand it's kind of fine to charge this now i always like to search my deck and draw cards before i use my leader skill so i'm going to pay one energy here and search my top five cards uh and what's great about this is you can pull a super combo see like had we used our leader effect we would have just milled two super combos so you definitely want to play cards to search your top cards first if possible um, i also like to swing with my leader before i do my leader effect because it just gives me more options to draw unless i'm trying to set up and you know kill something on their board and reduce the value that they have or something like that so go ahead and play gohan after we play gohan we can use our leader skill and we're gonna burst three and draw one so one two three go into the drop and then we draw a card and then we're gonna choose a card from our hand and put in our drop area in this case i think i'm just gonna drop this here and now we're already set up with three uh, U7 in our drop area. And if you're going first, your opponent probably doesn't have a way to kill Gohan. So here we would just pass, let them go. And then when they swing at our leader, um, you can combo a skillless to combo out and the skillless allows you to draw. And then when you have a skillless in your combo area, if you have a challenger, you can also combo that challenger and that allows you to draw as well. And that's really great because now we're set up for all of our U7 plays. We have five U7 in our drop area and next turn we're gonna have sparking seven for sure. So here we're gonna start our turn, draw a card for turn and then charge something since we have two of these guys i'll just throw one of these in our energy and uh at this point um first thing i would do here is i would actually swing lead to lead just so we can draw and had we drawn like a, a uh, skillless we'd probably combo the skillless just to get that extra draw in and set up our drop more um but after you do that you can go ahead and do your leader skill mill three one two three and here like we only got one u7 in the drop but it's fine because we still have uh the cards from before and then we draw a card and then choose a card in our hand and discard it so here we want to keep this skillless we'll discard this realm of the gods ultra instinct now if we're playing in the mirror match or if they have something on their board that they want to keep yeah you can go ahead and actually just cast this for one energy now that we have sparking seven you can pay one play the goku and if he negs something to zero you get to draw a card off that and then that gives you uh, a swing here and if you want to go in more you can also play this for one neg something else off the board and get two dual attack swings in but in the mirror match you usually just want to swing with this once and leave it up so they can't kill it and you can gain more pressure on a turn needing more pressure so here we'll pass turn and uh let's say they combo into us again we can just lock out of that first attack and then they might deal like i don't know let's say they deal two damage somehow or something like that so for our turn we're gonna and we'll say they killed this somehow as well uh for our turn we're gonna draw a card here uh choose something and put it in our energy area and here i'm just gonna charge this since we're not doing too much combo stuff just to show um and then before you play anything depending on what color you're playing i think like swinging with your board is kind of better than going right out and playing stuff so here i would probably swing with this twice get those swings out of the way and then you want to play your unison so jiren is like king in this matchup so i would pay three for jiren he's 
going to have three markers on them. You can plus one and give them double strike for the turn. Um, now we want to do our leader effect because probably, well, it really depends. If you can put off your awakening, it's really awesome to put off your awakening. A lot of times you have to awaken here, so you don't want to be tapped out, but we don't really have much that we'll use energy on. So I actually wouldn't awaken here. So I'll go ahead and just swing with my leader somewhere to draw. And then um, now we can do our leader effect and burst three and draw a card. And then we're going to choose a card in our hand and put in our drop area. And here I would probably, uh, I think I'd drop, uh, let's say I'll drop this after image because we know we have a few more of those. I'm actually just going to, uh. now if they, if you were behind on a turn, it would be a good idea to awaken here. Cause if you awaken here, you can actually, um, have an energy up. And when on their turn, when they play like one of their big bombs, you can neg it by 10 with Jiren counterplay window one with Goku to minus it 15 K and then counterplay window two with the Dell minus it 20 K and minus something else 20 K. So you get a lot of negging and you can actually kill something that's like 45 K. So there's basically no card in the game that can outlive this combo, this counterplay combo. Um, and you would get to draw off the Goku after you neg that thing as well. So we're going to, uh, let's say we're, they're playing a little bit more aggressively. Maybe we take like three damage here or something like that. And then, uh, on our turn we're gonna draw for our turn and untap and uh we'll charge something let's charge uh this goku i love this skillless goku um now on this turn we actually are gonna have a pretty cool awakening turn here um let's say they knock jiren to like three markers or something like that you would want to go ahead and plus jiren again and uh here uh you know, you want to do your leader effect before you awaken. So we'll do the same thing, mill three, and then we draw one and drop one. And here, since we have a skill, so we'll hold on to that card. Um, here we can drop like, uh, maybe we'll drop this Goku here. And now you have a lot of options, but you want to use some energy here. And a pretty cool thing you can do is um, you can swing with Frieza for the first attack and see how they respond to it. And then when you swing again, you can, uh, yeah, and then you can you can swing again for the second attack and then you can actually uh swing with your leader and you'll draw for that and while you're in your leader swing you can pay one energy for realm of the gods to buff your frieza to a 29k and since you have a 25k red battle card when you awaken you can choose this card ko it and play heartfelt plea and then resolve your awakening uh draw card and when you play heartfelt plea heartfelt's a pretty insane card it has offering which means they're either going to crit a life or you get to draw two cards so we'll go ahead and just draw two here uh, they probably won't take that damage and then just to make jiren like more beefy you can put another um, card under him and then you can swing with heartfelt heartfelt is a 30k triple strike so that's like a pretty big swing that they have to deal with on top of the potential of them just well they didn't crit the life we drew the cards um but now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven cards in hand which is pretty beefy and in our drop area we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so uh it's pretty cool here we can um we can use our leader skill to draw a card and then mill three cards off the top of our deck and then when we swing with jiren you can attack with jiren and you can combo a skillless to draw and then you can combo a challenger and draw again and that's going to put us at more than we need in our drop area we can use our uh, leader effect to grab the secret rare and then once we have our secret rare in hand um they're probably going to be at pretty low life like depending on what they're at we can either play ultra mastery or we can just tap for play the secret rare and uh clear their entire board um but in this instance let's say like we're playing it more safely and we want to wait till the next turn to uh do that so we can play an energy pay an energy and then swing at their unison or at them with double strike and when you play the android you get to search your top three and you can grab a u7 from it so we'll go ahead and grab this goku the rest of the cards go to the bottom of the deck and then um there are options to use this energy but you can also just kind of keep it up defensively Defensively. So on their turn, let's say like they played something that's three or less, you can counterplay with Resolve Renewed and what the card will actually just go right to their drop area when you counterplay with that. Um, and then uh, if they try and play like one of their bombs, again, you can do the same thing. You can counter window one, pay one energy to play Goku and then counter window two, Spirit Boost to play Videl. And then if, you know, minus 10 with Jiren and whatever they have will hit zero. So for Goku, you get to draw a card off that as well. Um, um, and then 
you know, some defensive options you can negate with King Vegeta's imposing presence. And for the duration of the turn, now everything is kind of going to be neg. So that sort of floodgates the turn for your turn. And then for our turn, we'll draw and charge something. Uh, we'll charge like this Jiren here. And if you have a Koitsukai in your drop area, um, Koitsukai is really great, especially if you're going to be playing something and you don't want it to get counterplayed. So we don't have any Koitsukais in our drop, but we can do something as simple as just like swinging with heart felt here and combo off this Koitsukai. And when we combo off the Koitsukai, we can then pay one energy, uh, remove Koitsukai from the game and choose two cards in our hand and put them at the bottom of our deck. So we'll take like these two cards, put them at the bottom of the deck and we get to draw two cards. So nice like hand filtration there. And then at this point, you know, you're probably either going to play Goku or Vegeta um, with how much pressure we've put, probably going to end up playing Vegeta. But let's just say for argument's sake, we'll show what it looks like if we were to play Goku here when when you swing with Goku, he's a 35k double strike and you get to look at their hand and take out a card energy cost seven or less. So that's pretty cool. And then he'll swing again. So that's two 35k swings. But if we had played Vegeta, if they're at one life, you just activate main on Vegeta, kill him and you wipe their entire board, ignoring barrier and their unison and crit a life off of them. So really, really strong. And then of course you have your leader draw, you just draw a card with your leader. Um, so here, you know, if we're swinging with Vegeta and it's our combo step, we can, you can start with comboing a skillless and draw for Gohan and then you can combo a challenger to draw again off Gohan and then you can just kind of combo off your whole board right for, for a triple strike even if they're at four life you know you can be swinging for something really crazy here so how much combo power do we have two more and then oh we might actually deck out with this here another super combo super combo so yeah here this swing is just going to be 40k so this is 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 105 115 125 135 yeah so 135 triple strike is pretty strong and then you still even have your double strike and i don't think we even swung with our leader but just kind of gives you an idea of how strong the deck is and i run a 60 card deck and i have two cards left in deck so i think running a 60 card deck is important in this deck because of how much you draw and how much you're milling in the beginning uh, especially if your skillless package doesn't get hit if the skillless package gets hit i mean that changes stuff up a lot but being able to awaken with that heartfelt tech feels really really good it just puts a really big amount of pressure on and you know this will this will really help clear unisons or you know deal some damage that they're gonna have to deal with anyway that's the u7 playthrough i really like this deck there's so many different techs and there's space for building it in a lot of different ways people have built it in a bunch of different ways um i really like this list enjoy the skillless package and i go into my side deck options and stuff like that in the video you can check it out uh for the deck profile but i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip would be i recommend using a toothpaste with fluoride because the same way that this deck has a lot of really good defense it's important to have good defense for your teeth and fluoride helps defend your enamel by making it stronger. Uh I recommend a toothpaste called Pronamel. I think Pronamel it has a very good ratio of fluoride to detergent. So check out Pronamel. Make sure to brush twice a day and don't forget to floss. Joku DMD. This has been the U7 Super Coup playthrough and I'll see you guys next time.